guys, Willie here with WTF Car Reviews and today we're going to be reviewing the all new 2023 top of the line BMW 760i. And a big thanks to Armas and Cameron at BMW of Tampa for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to their inventory below and if you're looking for a new premium or performance vehicle in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and as for Armas or Cameron. And for those of you guys who don't know, the 7 Series has been BMW's flagship luxury full size sedan since 1977. The 7th generation 7 series that you see here was released this year for 2023 and here we have the top 760i trim. The $97,000 base 740i gets BMW's famous B58 inline turbo 6 cylinder made it to a 48 volt mile hybrid system cranking out 375 horsepower, 398 pound feet of torque and you can expect 0 to 60 in that vehicle in around 5 seconds, maybe quicker if you get a really good launch. But if you're going for a top flagship vehicle, which will probably cost you over 100,000 bucks at the end of the day, you probably want the top flagship engine that we have here, a 4.4 liter twin turbo V8, which cranks out 538 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque, also made it to a 48 volt mild hybrid system, and an eight speed automatic transmission. You can expect this beast to get to 60 in around four seconds. With a base price at around $116,400, what else do we get for that money? Let's jump right in so up front you notice your bold new redesigned styling and this really aggressive matte gray paint we have two tiers of headlights the top tier is a daytime running strip the bottom tier are dual bmw laser led projectors we have full front parking sensing a forward facing camera and a panel which houses the advanced safety features ton of airflow too we get active shutters down below too for the intercooler and radiator right up top functional airflow in both of the corners up front the front styling post redesign it's a mixed opinion from a lot of people but i personally like it it's definitely a more modern look for the 2024 or 2023 7 series and once we step inside you'll really see where the money's being spent the wheel and tire setup you get these really aggressive 20 inch rims wrapped in pirelli p0 all season tires Dimensions up front being 255-40 R21. These are an M Performance rim with an M Performance brake caliper, I believe a four piston. The wheel wells are all body color with an additional side sensor helping us out with 360. Gloss black trim for the rocker panel side skirt area. And here we have additional sensors here to the side. We did not get that on the 740, but we get that here on the top 760. Body color mirrors, LED turn signal on them, additional camera on them also helping us out with 360. We get these power opening doors. Check this out. So you just press this button and it electrically shoots open. It doesn't fully open up for you, but check this out. You press this button on the side and the door closes for you. Out rear, same thing. The doors open and close for you. All black trim surrounding the window trim, blacked out B pillar. No tints, but that can be added on after market. The rear wheel and tire setup, we have an offset tire with 285-35R21, still a Pirelli P0 all seasons. M rim with an M brake caliper, just a single piston out back, but I still like how it's painted blue. Additional rear side sensor, ton of sensors in the 760. Gloss black trim for the bottom diffuser area, full rear parking sensing, X drive badge in the corner, full LED taillights. We get a gloss black lip spoiler, BMW badge houses your backup camera, 760i badge in the corner. We'll take a squat back here, reverse light in the center, quad exhaust tips. And speaking of the quad exhaust tips, let's fire up this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 and hear how she sounds. All right, guys, that was the sound of the 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 sold by BMW for the 2023 760i. It sounds okay, but it makes a ton of power at 536 horsepower, 553 pound feet of torque, enough to get this massive full size beast to 60 around four seconds. So, really quick vehicle. We have braces connecting the strut towers to the chassis. We'll see after we start this vehicle up if we get any additional supports in front of the radiator but what you see is basically what we get we can shut this hood right down of course we get hydraulic struts we can walk around this exterior with this matte gray paint color one more time and take a step inside and see what we get on the top bmw 760i and this is basically a fully loaded 760 with just about every feature you could possibly want or need so up top we get leather stitch trim gushy soft leather with white contrast stitching crystal trim in the center two person memory seats Power adjustments for the seats, four-way auto one-touch windows, power folding mirrors. We get a trunk release and a really impressive Bowers & Wilkins sound system. It will rattle your skull and the seats have their own speakers. As the bass builds, as the song builds up, you can actually feel it through the seat. 
The armrest is also gushy soft leather, same with the center. Contrast stitching down below, leather stitching even for the bottom portion, outline in felt and you'll easily fit a foot long in there with no problem. Additional Bowers & Wilkins speaker, M, nameplate as we step inside. The seats are unbelievably comfortable. They are quilted, perforated, heated, and ventilated, fully adjustable. You can recline, drop, lift, and slide the seats, all adjustable with these crystal adjustments on the door panel. Anyway, though, taking a step inside, we can really check it out. First thing I noticed, though, is check that out. We have leather and like a carpet for the floor mats here on the 760. Foot on the brake, engine start, stop, and everything fires right to life but first thing we notice is the m steering wheel it's very thick up top it's not red in the middle i kind of wish it was but it does give you this nice little leather pouch to identify the center 10 and 2 bolster notch is thick 9 and 3 fits great in your hand and we get a flat bottom this is one of the first m steering wheels i've seen with a flat bottom I like the design for the frame the horn area is leather stitched too the horn itself loud and aggressive we'll do a window check i'm sure we get dual panes in this top 760 trim we do get dual panes and they are very thick dual pane of glass hopefully you can pick it up on camera continue along though cruise control settings on the left side and the right side volume and skip controls you can answer and hang up your phone calls and voice commands these settings adjust your infotainment right now we're looking at a map route preview augmented view we'll take a look it's like a forward-facing camera at all times that's pretty cool we can also check out assisted view that gives us like a ai display of our seven series trip data reduced view and my personal favorite would probably be the map so we'll leave it here but we also get a g meter media and radio we'll leave it at the map we can adjust the layouts too this is the current layout with a power indicator and attack so since it's a brand new vehicle they lock us above 4500 rpm and i agree with that that way the whoever ends up paying over a hundred thousand dollars for the seven series knows that it's properly broken into or broken in anyway though the adjustments also include this final layout which gives us a pretty funky design but with a very large map and a heads-up display adjustment. Hopefully you can pick up the heads-up display on camera, but it's adjusted between these different views. My personal favorite view would be the sport view, so we'll leave it here. That's about it though. We have a 12.3 inch digital gauge display. I'll zoom back out so you guys have a better view. And a 14.9 inch touchscreen. Paddle shifters are aluminum. The stocks have a really satisfying click, auto headlamps, auto high beams, and of course, auto rain sensing wipers. To the left of the steering wheel, power till and telescoping steering wheel adjustments for the air vents are pretty funky right over here. You can press this button to open and close your door automatically. That's a really cool feature. You press it one more time and the door closes right up and it does so pretty quickly. The air vent speed is adjusted with this touch dial. That's about it for this area. Everything is of course soft touch, leather stitch trim, heads up display, 14.9 inch touchscreen with this faux carbon or genuine carbon trim all running through underneath. Nice attention to detail. The touchscreen, right, right there we're looking at our climate menu. You can adjust the heated ventilated seats. We'll just go right back to it. You can adjust the heated steering wheel, heated ventilated seats, vent control, and the location of the air. You can also do the same thing for the passenger seat. Nice. Home screen, we have a map, FM radio, telephone, personal assistant, temperature outside, traffic en route, my BMW, route preview, and the widgets. The adaptive content all available right here. The apps, we can take a quick look at them, BMW ID, you guys can pause, take a look at all of these, and of course, wireless, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto. Nice. My personal favorites to look at at all times would probably be the map, so we'll leave it here. And speaking of the map, the response is absolutely excellent. It responds just like an iPhone. Huge thumbs up to BMW. Again, climate menu down below. We have no hard buttons anywhere, but the touch sensors are down below separate for the defrosters. Again, adjustments for the air vent speed, all crystal for this interior. It looks unbelievably premium. Air vent controls, wireless charging pad, more of that real genuine carbon trim with leather stitch trim for where your knee will often hit. Two cup holders and they're both separate. You can close them if you'd like to for one reason or another. It's piano black, so keep your cleaning supplies at hand, but when it's clean, it looks unbelievably premium. Crystal engine start stop button, crystal gear selector, and crystal adjustments for the infotainment if you don't want to add fingerprints and go through the touchscreen. Also crystal for the volume dial, touch sensor for the skip. We can take a quick look at the backup camera. Excellent resolution, guidance lines, and trajectory. Same for the 360 for the front and rear. Different parking views. Right now we're looking at just a regular parking view. Assist view, see if we have different views for the park. Nope, just the rear. Assist view gives the parking sensors. Panorama view shows us everything we have out back with a really wide angle. Different views, we have a car wash view that shows us our guidance lines and trajectory for the front wheels to line it up for a car wash. We get camera cleaning with a spray nozzle for the camera. It's currently a pretty rainy day, so it's just not necessary. And a 3D view. 
With this 3D view, it says that you can slide back and forth, but I'm currently doing so, nothing is happening. But if you use the dial over here, it allows you to actually circle this vehicle in a 360 degree fashion. Really impressive camera system to be expected with this price point, but it definitely does not disappoint. You throw the car right back into park and it keeps us in our camera screen. So you actually have to press the home button to return to it. Press this map button. This is where I'm gonna leave it at all times. Parking brake, auto hold for it. You can turn on or off your parking sensors and the adjustments for the air suspension. The shortcuts, if you wanna use the crystal dial, include media, telephone, nav, home, and back. My modes, take a quick look. Adam, personal, sport, efficient, expressive, theater, digital art, awesome. We'll start the review off in personal, transition to sport, and just see what the differences are. The armrest is super gushy, soft, perforated armrest. I believe it's a heated armrest too. Outline and felt, two USB-C ports, and an additional 12 volt in there too. You'll fit probably four or five 12 ounce bottles in there with no problem. The glove box, open it up, you gotta press this down button on this touch sensor. It doesn't really work right away, but once it does work, you can check it out. It's pretty large, you'll fit 15, 20 license plates. It's lined in felt, and you just lift it up simply to close it. It's outlined in this faux leather trim. Everything feels unbelievably premium in here. And as we step out back, that's where the premium stuff only just begins. Frameless auto dimming rear view mirror, three garage home link settings on it. The interior lights are LED. We get a suede Alcantara headliner with a panoramic moonroof and a full size TV back there. Unfortunately, we can't open up the moonroof with the TV on. So you simply press this button and the TV hides away and then should allow us to access the panoramic moonroof. And now that it's hidden away, you just press this button right here and the shade opens right up. Just press this button and hold and the shade opens up completely. Boom, beautiful. Unfortunately, none of it opens, only the shade opens, but that's fine. It lets up quite a bit of light into this cabin. We'll leave the shade open so when we hop out back, you can get a good idea of how much light is brought into the cabin before we hop out back. Let's take a quick look at this window sticker and see everything we get on this top of the line, fully loaded, 2023 760i xDrive sedan. So this frozen deep gray matte color is 5,000 bucks, 2100 for the driving assistance pro package, giving us the active driving assistant pro and the highway assistant, 5450 for the BMW individual composition. That gives us the Alcantara headliner coordinate. Luxury rear seating package is 3,000 bucks, giving us the multifunction rear seats and the rear massage seats. 950 for the M Sport Professional Package, 900 for the Parking Assistance Package, 3700 for the Executive Package, giving us the automatic doors, crystal headlights, and front massage seats. 7250 for the Rear Executive Lounge Seating. That gives us the reclining rear seat and footrest, Executive Lounge Rear Console, and a BMW Theater screen. M Sport Package Pro gives the M Sport brakes with blue calipers, the extended shadow line trim, and the M Sport Pro contents. More options include 1300 for the 21 inch rims, 1300 for the Climate Comfort laminated glass, 4800 for the booming Bowers & Wilkins sound system. After a $995 destination charge, we're sitting a tick over 150,000 bucks. More standard features, you guys can pause, take a look at all of those. With a twin turbo V8, which makes over 500 horsepower and zero to 60 around four seconds. We're still averaging over 20 miles per gallon, 18 city, 26 highway. Really impressive luxury performance sedan. That's about it though for the front seat. Let's hop out back, see how much space is offered behind my seat settings, and then see how much space is offered in that theater recline lounge, and then take this car out for a drive. So you press this button and the door shoots right open. It also has a soft close function. Watch this, we didn't close it all the way. And there you go soft close but you press this button the door shoots open you can open it up completely and it finishes off electrically up top we have leather stitch trim power sunshade up top perforated leather for the center gushy soft armrest with more perforation down below leather stitching outside of the storage area outline and felt you'll easily fit a foot long and maybe a 12 ounce water bottle to wash it down additional bowers and wilkins speaker aluminum m nameplate as you step inside the rear seats are also beautiful Quilted, perforated, really well bolstered for a back seat and more of that Alcantara trim. The headrest is super plush. Look at that, literally a pillow. But taking a step inside behind my own seat settings and I still have at least about a foot of knee room. Perforated leather for this cargo net area. We have latches with a USB-C port underneath and more carbon fiber trim behind the headrest. Speaking of that TV, look at the size of this thing. 
absolutely massive. Two air vents, two third zone climate control to be expected. It's just adjusted with these touch screens. So here we have the low, you press this button right up top, you can swipe it to unlock it. We have Fire TV, which is useful with this pretty large touchscreen. I believe it's like a 30 something inch screen, 29 inch screen. I'll leave a link right here, show you exactly what it is. You can also adjust the blinds. So you press the blinds button, press the side blind and the power sunshade closes right up. You do the same thing up top. You press the top button and just slide it down for close and the sunshade back here closes as well. It's gonna get pretty dark. It'll definitely eliminate all the glare. Really impressive features here really impressive luxury and we haven't even gotten to the real luxury part we're still just sitting behind my seat settings we get behind this passenger seat which we'll do in one second and it becomes a whole nother level gushy soft armrest with two cup holders you'll fit probably 24 ounce bottles in there and a pretty decently sized center console you'll fit three 12 ounce cans in here two usb-c ports and a rear sunshade too if we didn't mention full alcantara even for the headliner out back led interior light as soon as i position my finger in a way to grab it there we go that's why i don't really like the touch sensor you never know what you're actually touching taking a step out to the other side of this back seat well we can press this button out here and the door also automatically opens really impressive luxury features here guys and we'll hop out to the other side check out the reclining seat and this is where the boss would be sitting if he was driving in the back of a 2023 760i so here you can press this touch sensor that says seats and you press this recline lounge button and watch this it pushes the front seat all the way forward it's about to squish all my camera equipment up there but shouldn't be too much of a problem we have some blue illumination behind the actual seat no map pocket unfortunately behind the passenger seat but that's because this little footrest extends and i'll show you guys in one second as the process completes it does take a second but to be expected it's all done automatically if there were actual latches to do so the process would probably not take nearly as long as you see my legs are being lifted up. That footrest should drop any second too. Yep. Wow. Boom. So the footrest is ready. My back seat is just about fully reclined. And thanks to these plush headrests, it is a really comfortable location back here. I really can't complain. You press this home button one more time, press the fire TV button with the display, press fold down, and now the TV automatically starts to fold down. This thing is massive. I hope you guys can understand just the absolute size of this screen back here. Watch Netflix, HBO Max, Fire TV, and if you have cable, you can add a stream to your TV back here. So people back here can watch sports games, whatever's on cable TV. We'll leave the TV put. Actually, we'll hide the TV, and I'll let you know in one second. When the TV is folded down, that rear view mirror is just about useless, so personally, I'd rather drive with the TV folded away. But if you have kids back here, you want to keep the trip nice and entertaining for them, of course, leave the TV out and just use your side mirrors as your rear view mirror. Fire TV and fold up the TV. You can also adjust the zoom on the TV. So if you want to zoom in, zoom out, you can do all of that. But the TV's folded away now. You press this button and the rear seat opens right up. Additional air vents on both B pillars. Taking a step out of here, we can check out the cargo space on this top trim 760i X drive and then take this car for a drive. Of course, we have a power opening tailgate or lift gate, whatever you like to call it for a sedan and a really large floor. The back seats unfortunately don't fold down because of all the adjustments and premium touches, but we do get a middle pass through. So if you wanna throw some skis back here, you can. Very wide wheel well cutouts. So you can throw a golf bag here horizontally and a pretty large floor overall with some tie downs too. To shut this trunk right up, just press this button and it electrically closes. We can walk around this 2023 top trim BMW 760X drive, just about every option and feature included. Absolute beautiful beast of a vehicle. I know the front end styling is love it or hate it, but personally, I really don't mind it. The shutters are a little bit open now, but we still can't see what we got going on behind it. Maybe we have supports, maybe not, but let's take this car out for a drive and see what it's got. All right, guys, now we've just about seen everything we need to see with the inside and outside of the all new 2023 BMW 760i, let's take it out for a drive. And starting off in comfort mode, or not comfort, relax mode. It says relax mode as soon as I said it to correct me. We have our massage seats turned on. They work fantastically. It's not just a bunch of air pockets inflating and deflating. It actually feels like notches going into your spine. And as soon as we threw it into relax mode, all the sunshades automatically came up. We have the sunshade up top that came up, the sunshades out back came up, and it just seems so ridiculously quiet. You lean into the gas pedal, you accelerate, but you don't hear any acceleration. It's almost like a full EV. I'm sure the i7 will be a lot significantly quieter than this. 
but for a v8 twin turbo v8 this might be the quietest one that i've ever heard at least in person cruising along at 46 miles per hour the road noise doesn't exist unfortunately it's starting to rain so you'll hear a couple of raindrops but outside of those raindrops you hear absolutely nothing we'll throw it into sport mode see what changes up like we said we have the power limited here for the first I believe 290 miles of this vehicle's life just to preserve it for the break-in period but in sport mode the steering immediately feels heavier the vehicle downshifts for you automatically we'll try out an acceleration on the gas Ooh. yeah even though it's limited it still feels very strong we take a step out over here Steering feels excellent. We'll let some of these cars pass. Hopefully try an acceleration off the line. And I'll catch back with you in one second. All right, looks like a good opportunity on the gas. Ooh, strong. We're not gonna enter the highway because the traffic's pretty bad. <laughs> you can hear that grunt from that V8. You run over these giant bumps, you don't even feel them. And this is in sport mode. The ride quality is so incredible in this vehicle. The isolation from the road is just absurd. We try out these manual shift controls. Third gear, snappy shifts. Second gear on the gas. Ooh. <laughs> I love the sound this V8 makes. The steering feels a little bit better in sport. It's still extremely light. Um, relaxed mode, the steering's a lot lighter. But in sport, it's still pretty light. Just gets a little bit tighter and sportier feeling. And now that we're in sport, we put it into relax and the massage seats automatically turned on. In sport mode, the massage seats stay on if you start off in relax but i'm sure you can turn off the massage seats pretty easily we'll get around this truck while he's backing up and another thing i'm noticing it's although the power is limited it's only limited up top it cuts you off at around 4500 rpm the low throttle input here is so strong i'm sure that doesn't change regardless of the break-in period or not on the gas so beefy sounds so good and it's such a smooth power delivery guys i am loving it for a luxury performance sedan an emphasis on luxury i mean you guys saw that back seat this is genuinely probably the best you're gonna get at least for the money we can lean into it once we're situated on the gas Ooh. yeah even though it's limited you look down and you are going quick when you let off that gas pedal you can hear a quick burble through the exhaust and although the exhaust is not aggressive in the slightest, I mean, it is a little, come on, man. It is a little bit aggressive, but compared to like actual performance vehicles, it's not aggressive at all that this other guy passed too. He's going a solid 10 miles an hour. So he'll probably pass again, but right here on the gas. Ooh. Picks up speed. Well, I don't know if you can pick up the burbles on camera, but this 4.4 liter twin turbo V8 sounds good. The low throttle input pulls very well we can throw it right back into um relax mode immediately it gets significantly quieter we thought it was i thought it was quiet in sport relax mode is a whole nother level of quiet you hear absolutely nothing the massage seats actually get more intense in relax mode i'm loving it guys the steering feels it's light but it's still direct and the steering will feel so good in your hands I could definitely see myself buying this over Mercedes S-Class. I know it's not for everyone. I'm sure Mercedes S-Class offers luxury features that you just don't get here, but this 7 Series offers performance features that you're not getting in an S-Class. So you gotta pick your poison on the gas one more time in relax mode, much quieter, but still an absolute powerhouse. Overall guys, if you're looking for a top level flagship luxury sedan, you need full-size level of space. You want absurd levels of luxury. You want every bell and whistle. You've worked hard for your money. You want the most expensive luxury vehicle that you can get. Within reason, you're not looking for a Bentley. You're not looking for a Rolls Royce. You just want a flagship luxury sedan with power, with space, and with absurd levels of luxury. I would definitely recommend checking out the 2023 BMW 760i. And a big thanks to Cameron at BMW of Tampa for helping make this review possible. I'll leave a link to our inventory below. And if you're looking for a new premium performance car or SUV in the Tampa area, I would definitely recommend checking these guys out and ask for Cameron. And huge thanks to all of you for watching. I had a great time making this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. 
Leave a like too, it really helps me out the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment, let me know what you like, let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment, let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you wanna see reviewed on this channel. And I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope all of you have a great day.